Hi, I'm going to do a lesson on the median regression line um, request from Mr. Ryan Shepard. Um, this is a, a quite an important question, particularly uh, looking at the name of it, median, um, which means middle points. Um, it's slightly different to a line of best fit, where it looks at the median points um, and it's got a, a particular technique for it. So I'm just going to read the question first. Jill has collected data about the height and weight of nine adults. This is shown in the scatter plot below. Using a ruler and pencil, Jill is preparing to fit a median regression line to the data. As a first step, she divides the data into three sections as shown. Okay, they've told you that first step, which is very important. They won't necessarily tell you that first step. Now, you should always split into three groups. It doesn't have to be equal, but what has to be equal is the first and the last group. Now, you'll see that she's got, um, I think it's nine pieces of data so she has got um, three pieces in the first group, three pieces in the middle group, and three pieces in the last group. If you can have three equal groups, that's excellent. But if you can't, make sure the first group and the last group are the equal ones. Okay. So they've told us that first step. So number one says, in the second step, Jill calculates the points A and B as shown in the diagram below. What are the coordinates of the corresponding points C in the middle section. So our second step for any median regression line is going to be um, drawing on your middle point. Now if you've got three points then okay, it's going to work out really nicely anyway. So what we like to do when we get our median points we like to line the points up into um, into ascending order, so smallest to biggest. Now obviously we have coordinates, you're going to have an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. So let's have a look at their first one. Now this isn't part of the question, but I'm going to look at how they got A. So we've got three points. We've got the point 150, comma, six, uh, no, 150, 50. So 150 across, 50 up, which is that point, first point. They've got this middle point of, um, what is it, 155 across and then 70 up and then we've got 160 across and that's gone up 60 okay it won't necessarily be that point as you can see that middle point there it's not actually the point so how do we find point A we're going to put the X values in order from smallest to highest so 150 155 and 160 and obviously the middle point would simply now be the 155. Now if you had two middle points, so let's say you had four coordinates, then obviously the two middle points you would add together and divide by two. Now let's do the Y values, the Y coordinates. So we've got smallest is 50, then 60, then 70. So again, I can cross the outside ones off and I'm left with 60. So my middle coordinate for A would be 155 across and 60 up. And let's just have a look at that, 155 across and 60 up. So we can see now how they manage to get um, those points for A. Okay, so let me just uh, get rid of that there. So let's now find, or maybe you want to see if you can find out how to find the coordinates of the middle point here, which is going to be C. So maybe pause it and then have a crack at it. Okay, hopefully you got this answer. So I'm going to now put the coordinates, um, write the coordinates out. So that's the coordinate um, 165, and then it's going to be about that's going to be about 55 up. The next coordinate, which is this one here, is a nice easy one. It's 170 across and 50 up, and then the last coordinate up here is 175 across and then it's going to be up 70. So now let's put the X coordinates in order and then the Y coordinates. So my X coordinates, I've got 165, I've got 170 and I've got 175. So nice and easy. I cross those two out, I'm left with 170 as my X coordinate. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the Y coordinates. So 50 is going to be the smallest, followed by 55, followed by 70. Likewise, I'm going to cross the two middle ones off, and I'll get 55. 
So now we can put on, and you would do this on your graph because it will be drawn out for you. I'd go across to 170, up to 55, which would be about there in purple, and that would be my point C. Okay, so that's the first one done, and that's two two marks there. So you can see one mark probably for your x coordinate, one mark for your y coordinate. Okay, part uh, two now. It says, in the third step, Jill draws a line through A and B. So that's your ne next step. So hopefully you remember when you're drawing um, any sort of uh, medium regression line, once you've found your point A, your point B, and your point C, we put our clear ruler, make sure it's a clear ruler, through A and B. That's the second, that's the, well, the third step, after you've drawn your points on there. Once I've done that, we then need to make a final step. So it says, what is the fourth step? And that is moving this line one third the distance towards C. So you can see that my line would probably move somewhere like this. Obviously, mine's not straight, yours will be. That would be my line or my medium regression line. Okay, and I'll recap this right towards the end. So again, I've lined my first and my last coordinate up, or my last midpoints or meeting points up, and then I've moved those two meeting points one third of the distance towards the C. Now in this case, the C is underneath it, so I'm going to move it down towards it. If the C was up higher, I'd move it up towards it. But it's one third of the distance, and that's what I would write for part C. I'd say move the line one third of the distance towards C. Now that's it. Now the last step, and again, I'm just going to get rid of that. The last step here says, the equation of the mean regression line for the data may be approximated by the weight in kilograms is equal to two-thirds of the height in centimetres minus 50. Okay, minus 50. Use the model to predict the height of a person who weighs 75 kilograms. Now just before I move on, you might be looking at this graph, this line, because I know I certainly did when I just looked at it then, and thought, hold on, shouldn't the y-intercept that, in this case, minus 50, shouldn't that be around here? And that doesn't look right. And what you might notice, that they've got those little squiggles here which means that these are going down by 10, so actually it means it's missing a whole pile of numbers from here and a whole pile of numbers from here, so there's a gap missing. So don't, don't be necessarily concerned when that happens. Often that will be the case if that that's, looks like that. So just double check that anyway. Okay, so use this model to predict the, the height of a person who weighs 75 kilograms. So simply two thirds um, times the height um, in centimetres minus 50 and we know that the weight it equals 75 kilograms so all that is now that's just an equation which if you want to solve it the long way you can but remember I much prefer you to go into equations mode and then simply type it into your solver because it's going to be much more accurate number one and two it's going to be a whole lot quicker okay we need to get every possible advantage that we can over the person next to us or the person at another school. We do that and we get the h to equal 187.5 centimetres. So it's as easy as that. Give one limitation of this model for predicting weights um, from heights. Well, anything that says something like you can have a very tall person who might be underweight Likewise, you can have a very short person who can be very heavy. Um, you can also talk about the ages of the people um, as well. There's lots of different things that you can talk about, but I guess as long as you come up with one of those limiting predictions, that's, um, that's going to be fine. All right, so now just to wrap things up, just on your mean regression line, my apologies, I'm just going to get a back to black there. Okay, so number one, when you're drawing a median regression line, okay, we want to um, split it into 
three groups your coordinates into three groups I'll put, put their coordinates so split your coordinates into three groups um, even if possible or at least the first and last group being even that's the first one number two order the X and Y coordinates and find a median point and that's for each group for each group then put ruler on the first and last median point and the fourth and final point move the line one third of the distance towards the middle median point okay and that sums up your median regression lines remember it's median median so we always put the coordinates from smallest to biggest and cut down to get the middle point if you happen to have two middle points add them together divide by two that will give you that median point once you've got your your three median points line the first and last one up with a clear ruler and then move it one third of the distance towards the middle median point as long as you purposely move it off that line okay then they'll give those marks. Okay, I hope this was, was sort of useful to you, um, particularly for you, Ryan. Um, fingers crossed that uh, that we get one of these come up tomorrow and you're able to nail it. Good luck, guys.